In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the Ultra Matrix effect in After Effects. Now it's probably two and a half years ago, I uploaded the Matrix effect tutorial, so I thought, you know, I had to remake it and make it even better now. So I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. And if you guys don't know, I have a all-in-one bundle on my website where you literally get all of my editing packs on the whole website and now i recently added a full course with that as well so you can easily learn how to use every single pack you get in that bundle basically so to check it out it's going to be a link at the top of the description now let's start creating this matrix effect so here we're in after fix and i've added the footage i'm going to be showcasing this matrix effect on and the settings i'm using are fhd with 24 fps if you guys want to use the same so what we need to do here is making a adjustment layer and you can do that by pressing ctrl alt y now we get a adjustment layer here and we can start off by adding vignette and I'm going to set the amount here to 125. And then I'm going to decrease the angle of view to 35. And we're basically adding the net to get a little bit more focus uh, on the middle of our footage here. So if I enable and disable this, you guys can see it's just going to be putting more focus towards the middle of the clip, basically. Now, the next effect we're going to be adding is called flicker. And here I'm going to be increasing the amplitude a little bit. So... I'm going to set it to 0 0.5. So we get a little bit more flickering to our clip here. Then I'm going to be setting the random color amplitude to 0 0.2. And this is also to get a little bit more color variation on the flickering here. And after the flicker effect, we're going to be adding noise. And here I'm going to be increasing the amount of noise to 30%. We get this noisy footage here and this noise doesn't look that good right now but it's going to make more sense in the ending when we have been adding more effects to the adjustment layer so the next effect i'm going to be adding is called omino diffusion and then we'll get this crazy glitchy look here and you can just adjust here by dragging down i'm gonna go with 0 0.76 then i'm gonna set the color count to 3 and then I'm going to be using a dark red here. Then the color free, I'm going to set that to yellow. And then increase the width of it. Stuff like that. So now the distortion glitch look here is going to be popping a lot more. After the Omino Diffusion, we're going to be adding scan lines to this. And with the scan lines, we're going to be creating a kind of pixel look to the matrix effect here. So it kind of looks like a, you know, CRT TV look here so for the first scan lines i'm actually going to be keeping the default settings here so i'm gonna go directly to the next one so press ctrl d and here i'm going to set the line frequency to the double which is 100 and then i'm gonna change the lines angle to 90. so it's going to look something like this and now as you guys can see we get these pixels here and after that to get an even stronger pixel look here i'm going to be adding a grid to this as well and here we're going to be changing the size from to uh, width and height sliders and for the width i'm going to set it to 10 and the height to 20. so when i try to make crt looks i always try to make the height of the pixel twice as long as the width of the pixel basically so we get this rectangle look here and i'm going to keep the border at five here but you can adjust it if you want to have a little bit smaller border in blending mode i'm going to change it to overlay and then press invert grid so this is the difference here the pixels are going to be popping a lot more now and the next effect we're going to be adding is called ntscrs incredibly hard to pronounce but uh, it's a very very good plugin to use it's going to look something like this gives this kind of old vhs look to our matrix effect here so i'm going to set the signal sharpening to minus one so we get this kind of look here after that adjust the noise intensity here and the snow and C trophy and for the head switching here i'm going to be increasing the height here and then set the offset to zero and then the horizontal shift i'm going to set that to 100 so we get this super uh, distorted look here at the bottom which looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion and then i'm going to be keeping the rest of the settings at default i'm just going to be increasing the edge wave here to two next up to get the green color for the matrix effect here we're going to be adding four color gradient to this i'm going to be using the already existing lime color here so just copy it to the other color positions like this here and then i'm going to set the blending mode to saturation like that then set the opacity to 50 now get some 
colors popping here. And then you can press Ctrl D on the four color gradient. And here I'm just gonna be switching the blending mode to hue. So get the more green touch to it. But we still get a lot of other colors included as well, but they are a little bit more subtle. Now, one of the key effects here is to use a glow effect, and I'm going to be using the deep glow effect here. So we're going to be getting this intense glow here, and I'm going to be dragging down the exposure here a little bit. So I'm going to set the exposure to 0.65. And then after that, add curves, make a simple contrast boost here with this S shape. And then we can go to channel, switch to green, make the same kind of shape, but a little bit stronger to make the green pop even more. So now it's going to look something like this here, which is a very, very cool matrix look here. And as you guys can see, on some clips, it looks very, very bright. So how to adjust that is basically to add curves to your uh, clips. And then drag down the brightness if it's too bright. So it's going to look something like this now. Then go to the next clip, add curves. It's going to look something like this once we have adjusted the brightness of our footage here. Looks very, very good. But now I'm going to be amplifying the matrix look even more by using my Y2K effects pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. So what you just need to do is making a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, drag it under the matrix effect, go to animation presets, user presets, Y2K effects, then Y2K quality. And then if we add on Y2K low res glint to the adjustment layer here, drag and drop. As you guys can see, we'll now get this even stronger and crazier matrix effect here. And that is just one of the effects you can use. We can also try to use a grunge effect from my grunge presets pack, which is also included in my all-in-one bundle. So if you open up grunge presets here, we can go with medium and here we use glitchy VHS drag and drop and just disable the motion tile effect. And that's going to be adding this glitchy touch here to the matrix effect, which looks very, very cool in my opinion. And we can also use a effect from the Frutiga Metro effects pack. So create a new adjustment layer, Frutiga Metro effects. Here we can use a random Frutiga flicker, drag and drop. And this one, drag this above the matrix effect. And you will be getting this crazy matrix looks here. This is literally the best <laughs> look I've ever gotten, not gonna lie here. This looks absolutely incredible. And if you want to adjust the brightness, just go to the curves effect here, drag it up or down, depending on the footage you guys have. And it's going to look something like this. Absolutely incredible. So now my camera died, obviously, but if you guys want to check out the packs I used here, the Y2K grunge presets, the Frutiga Metro is going to be linked down below and all of them is going to be included in my all-in-one bundle which now has a full course with it as well on how to use every single pack on my website and the link to the all-in-one bundle is also going to be in the description down below. Other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, take care and have a nice day.